Okay, so if you're following along the playlist by now, you would have registered your application in order for us to kind of facilitate this Power BI Embedded. If you haven't done that yet, go back into the previous video and check that out. In this video, we're going to be focusing on setting up our environment. So there's two parts to this. One is via the Azure portal, we're going to create a Power BI Embedded dedicated capacity resource. The other is within Power BI itself, we're going to create an app workspace and kind of link the two. So I've already created a resource group within um, my Azure tenant. Uh, so if you haven't done so, you'd want to probably create that just to kind of keep everything nice and neat and tidy within your container. Otherwise, we'll click on add and search for our Power BI embedded resource. Now you'll see that two here have popped up. This Power BI workspace collection, it's the old legacy version of embedded. So the one that we want to pick is that at the top, click create. So we'll give our resource a name. Make sure there's a valid subscription. We'll pick our resource group. Um, our Power BI Capacity Administrator. So this is the administrator that will be linking the app workspace. So this really should be the same. In this case, it's myself um, or that has also access to the um, Azure tenant as well as that's that pro account, that master pro account that we need to do the authentication on behalf of everyone. And we'll pick a pricing tier. So you can see in the details that are a whole bunch of different SKUs that you can scale up from an A1 to an A6, um, depending on the peak demand usage uh, requirements that you have. Um, but for now, for the demo, the lowest tier will suffice. We'll click Create. So with the power of video editing, our resource is av available in an instant. Um, in reality, that's going to take a minute or two. And that's all you need to do in terms of spinning up that resource. There's no additional config, um, but just so you can see what's going on, um, if you head over to the Power BI Embedded resource that you've just provisioned, you can see that you can pause. Um, so if you do pause, um, you won't get build. Uh, unlike other resources within Azure that you need to completely stop and delete to deallocate the resource, pausing will um, stop the billing from occurring and it, you'll build on an hourly basis. Um, so within scale, you can go up and down in terms of those different tiers. And there's those PI, Power BI capacity administrators. At the moment, it's just myself, that Power BI Pro account, that master account. But if you wanted to add others, you can do so there as well. So we'll leave our um, embedded capacity running. We'll head over to Power BI service. And now we need to create an app workspace, put some content in there, and then link up that embedded resource within Azure to our app workspace. So let's create an app workspace, PBIE demo workspace. It's got a workspace ID. We'll add our members to be just myself. Okay. And we've put the dedicated capacity and we've already, we, this is the um, linking between that embedded resource. So having it off, um, usually by default, but we'll click it on and we assign the Power BI Embedded Capacity Resource that we just created. Click on Save. So this now means any content that we have within this app workspace, we can serve to users externally. And you can see there that diamond icon that indicates that it's premium now. Um, yeah, we can, I guess, serve, serve content now within this app's workspace um, to users and they don't need to be licensed um, as a Power BI Pro user because it's backed um, by premium capacity. So at the moment, our app workspace has no content. So let's get some content, just throw some sample content in there. Uh, we'll pick on sales and marketing. Okay, and that's it. So we've got our app workspace. It's connected to our Power BI embedded resource. Um, we have some sample content in there. Um, so this is the stuff that we'll end up embedding um, in, in a web app outside of powerbi.com. So in the next video, we'll end up writing some code. Um, but otherwise, that's it.